Good morning, everyone. Once again, this is your teacher Irene, and welcome back to my video lesson. Today, our topic is all about evaluating functions. After this video lesson, you are expected to recall the process of substitution, identify the various types of functions, and evaluate functions. Finding the value of x for most of the students is what mathematics is all about. Sometimes, it seems to be a joke for the students to evaluate an expression, like what is shown by the illustration. If you want to learn how to find the value of y, well then, you are in the right channel. Welcome to your second module. Before we begin, let's go back to the time when you first encountered how to evaluate expression. Do you still remember? We have learned that in algebraic expression, letters can stand for numbers. And to find the value of the expression, there are two things that you have to do. First, replace each letter in the expression with the assigned value. Second, perform the operations in the expression using the correct order of operations. Let us have the following expressions. Find its value if x is equal to 3. Let us have the first expression, x minus 9. So since the value of x is equal to 3, we replace x by 3 in the expression. So this becomes 3 minus 9. And then subtract it by 9. This is equal to negative 6. And now let us have the second expression given by 3x plus 7. So, following the steps, we substitute the x by 3. So, this becomes 3 times 3 plus 7. We multiply it by the numerical coefficient 3 and then add by 7. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9 plus 7 equals 16. Let us have the third example given by x squared plus 4x minus 10. So, we replace x by 3. This is equal to 3 squared plus 4 times 3 minus 10. After replacing x by 3, get the square of 3, which is 9. 3 squared is equal to 9 plus 4 times 3 is equal to 12 minus 10. Okay, so we simplify 9 plus 12 is equal to 21, then subtract it by 10. This is equal to 21 minus 10 is 11. Let us have the fourth example given by 2x squared minus 6x plus 26. So, we substitute the value of x by 3. We have 2 times 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 26. So, simplify each term inside the parenthesis, which results to 2 times 3 squared is 9, minus 6 times 3 is 18, plus 26. So, simplify 2 times 9 is 18, minus 18, plus 26. 18 minus 18 is 0, therefore the value is equal to 26. Now, let us have the fifth example, which is equal to 3x cubed minus 6. We substitute x by 3. This is equal to 3 times 3 cubed minus 6. Get the cube of 3, which is 27. So, 3 times, what is the cube of 3? 3 times 3 times 3 is 27 minus 6. So, let's multiply. 3 times 27 is 81 minus 6 equals 75. Read and analyze some of the common types of functions that you might encounter as you go on with your module.
types of function is essential in this lesson because you will encounter those types as we proceed with evaluating functions. When we say evaluating function, is the process of determining value of the function at the number assigned to a given variable. Just like in evaluating algebraic expressions, you need to A. Replace each letter in the expression with the assigned value and B. Perform the correct order of operation in the expression. Look at these examples. Let's have example number 1. Given f of x equals 2x minus 4, find the value of the function if x is equal to 3. Solution, f of x is equal to 2x minus 4. We substitute x by 3 in the function. So this is equal to f of 3 equals to 2 times 3 minus 4. Simplify, this is equal to f of 3 equals 2 times 3 is 6 minus 4. Simplify the expression on the right side of the equation. Therefore, this is equal to f of 3 equals 2. Let us have example number 2. Given g of x equals 3x squared plus 7, find g of negative 3. Solution, we have g of x equals 3x squared plus 7. We substitute x by negative 3 in the function. Therefore, this is equal to g of negative 3 is equal to 3 times negative 3 squared plus 7. So, let's simplify. g of negative 3 is equal to negative 3 squared is equal to 9. 3 times 9 plus 7. We simplify the expression on the right side. This is equal to 3 times 9 is 27 plus 7. Therefore, g of 3 is equal to 27 plus 7 is 34. Let us have example number 3. Given p of x equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 2, find p of 0 and p of negative 1. Solution, treat each of this like two separate problems. In each case, we substitute x by its given value and simplify. So let us start with x is equal to 0. Okay, so we have p of x equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. So when x is 0, this is equal to p of 0 equals 3 times 0 squared plus 5 times 0 minus 2. So 3 times 0 squared is 3 times 0 plus 0 minus 2. We have 0 plus 0 minus 2, then p of 0 is equal to negative 2. Let us have the second case when x is equal to negative 1. Therefore, we have p of x equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. So, we substitute x by negative 1. So, we have p of negative 1 is equal to 3 times negative 1 squared plus 5 times negative 1 minus 2. p of negative 1 is equal to 3, negative 1 squared is 1, plus 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 minus 2. So, we have p of negative 1 is equal to 3 minus 5 minus 2. So, p of negative 1 is equal to 3 minus 5 minus 2 is negative 4. Therefore, given p of x equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 2, p of 0 is equal to negative 2 and p of negative 1 is equal to negative 4. Okay, for this time, let's have example number 4. Given f of x equals 5x plus 1, find f of h plus 1. So this time, we substitute x by h plus 1. So we have f of x is equal to 5x plus 1. So substitute x by h plus 1. So we have f of h plus 1 equals 5 times h plus 1 plus 1. 
So use distributive property on the right side and then combine like terms to simplify. So we have f of h plus 1 equals 5 times h is 5h plus 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1. Combine like terms, we have f of h plus 1 equals 5h plus 6. So given f of x equals 5x plus 1, f of h plus 1 is equal to 5h plus 6. Example number 5. Given g of x equals the square root of 3x minus 2, find g of 9. So we have g of x is equal to the square root of 3x minus 2. So this time, we substitute 9 for x in the function. We have g times 9 equals the square root of 3 times 9 minus 2. So g of 9 is equal to the square root of 3 times 9 is 27 minus 2. So g of 9 is equal to 27 minus 2 is equal to the square root of 25. g of 9 is equal to the square root of 25 is equal to 5. Example number 6. Given h of x is equal to 4x plus x over 2x minus 4, find the value of function if x is equal to negative 5. So, we have h of x equals 4x plus x over 2x minus 4. We have h times negative 5 equals 4 times negative 5 plus 8 over 2 times negative 5 minus 4. So, simplify the expression on the right side of the equation. We need to recall the concepts of integers and the process on how to simplify fractions. So, 4 times negative 5, we have negative 20 plus 8 over 2 times negative 5 is negative 10 minus 4. So, negative 20 plus 8 is equal to negative 12 over negative 10 minus 4 is negative 14. So, let's simplify fractions. Negative 12 over negative 14, h of negative 5 is equal to 6 over 7. For example, number 7, evaluate f of x equals 2 raised to x if x is equal to 3 halves. So let us substitute 3 halves for x in the function. So therefore, we have f of 3 halves equals 2 raised to 3 halves. So let us recall the property of fractional exponents where a be any real number and n be a positive integer greater than 1, then a raised to 1, 1 over n is equal to n the square root of a. So let us apply the property of fractional exponents to 2 raised to 3 halves. This is now equal to the square root of 2 raised to 3. Okay, let us simplify. f of 3 halves is equal to the square root of 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8. So since 8 is not a perfect square, we need to get the um, factors of 8 where the first factor is a perfect square. That is 4 times 2. So f of 3 halves is equal to, what is the square root of 4? 2 the square root of 2. And now, it's your turn! I hope you have learned something new today. Please do not forget to like and subscribe in my YouTube channel. Bye-bye!